Hello everyone, so today you have seen my concept. Oh my god, this has been so long coming. So on screen right now, we have a picture of the eye. It's been opened by the upgrade. This is a concept video for what an island upgrade would look like. And in the video, I did it for Firehaven. I know that we've got the Feast Ember event going on right now. And then I just randomly had to do it on Firehaven. It's so fitting that it just happened to come out at the exact same time as the Feast Ember event. Did. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to discuss all about this concept because I know that the concept gets the general gist of the idea across to you, but I wanted to discuss it because there's a lot more behind it than you would see from the concept video itself that you saw at the start of the video. So I just wanted to go through everything. So obviously the island upgrade, as you all saw, was an option within the island help menu. So like where you would access the skin, it was in there. I decided to put it in there for ease. I thought that would make sense. It's related to the island it changes the island and therefore I thought it would make sense to put it in there. And then we had the price. Now I know island skins cost way more but this is something that is essential to most players and island space is something that I think shouldn't be that far kept from players and plus it would be introduced on a lot of islands probably like natural islands specifically as well fire islands if we keep getting rares and then perhaps we get epics. I really do think that the price ought to stay minimal so it allows lots of accessibility for players of all kinds to get all the monsters and that does entice players I think to get the rare monsters perhaps and venture onward and perhaps not just put down the game because you don't want to put a too hefty price tag on something that's going to ruin the accessibility of the game I do think. And then we see the Colossal Wake Up. They would contribute to the song. I was thinking that perhaps you could look further down then you would be able to see the Colossal's mouth moving as they were doing the song. This was unable to be put in the concept video because this would require too much art and things behind it and I am not a big blue bubble employee and I would not be able to pull that off very well so I just stuck to the idea of the Colossal's eye opening for this. Obviously I would and did say that part of this concept is that the Colossal would contribute to the song but unfortunately I am not musically talented. Unfortunately we couldn't do that in this video but I think it turned out really well. Then we see the hands going up. The hands are not up in the video clip you are watching right now of the eye moving around. That is purely because it would have been quite hard to show that. Obviously when the hands went up as well the island would go up with it obviously I couldn't animate that because that would be too hefty as well but um, basically the hands would go up and then it would create space above and you'd be able to look at that space and you'd be able to zoom out further to view all your monsters so that's the basic gist of that now obviously as well tied into this island upgrade you would need more beds naturally because that's part of it isn't it so you have to have the paradise castle to do the upgrade that's something else but you do get the Supreme Castle. I've just named it the Supreme Castle. It can be whatever you guys want it to be. The island upgrade feature is basically a feature which just awakens the colossal for fun because it's something that players really want. And the reason for there being more space obviously in the castle and everything is because of how we have the epics now and you would need more room. Obviously this upgrade feature would perhaps not go on Fairhaven definitely first because we need it on the natural islands. We do not need it currently on the fire islands or anything like that. We need this on the natural natural islands because that's where we're getting as rares and as epics and it's a bit of a mishmash. You really don't need to add it to the Mirror Islands but definitely on the natural islands we really do need something like this because we need more room for his epics because that is something that's been implemented into the game and we are don't, players are being cut off by this feature because it's not as accessible as other features. I mean currently my hotel is that full. I mean I have kept two of some epics so perhaps that's something to consider but I only I like, have like 10 beds worth of duplicate epics. I've only put them in there in case epic will box comes out but I'm having to sell them because we don't have enough beds so yes it's a very big issue. Anyway it is a big issue yes but I'm not going to go through that in this video. You can go and watch my other videos on that if you want to. Yes the concept behind this of having more space is purely because of the epics and everything and there would not be enough room on the island. You need to solve this issue in one big swoop and if they don't increase the island space as well when they are increase the beds that's going to add another problem 
and people have been complaining about this for a long time so I do think that they need to add everything all in one nice swoop so that's the idea behind this upgrade I, I really do like this upgrade personally I have become quite attached to this idea to be honest I would love to see it implemented in game I think it's something that would really spice things up now the colossal awakening is something that I just want it doesn't have to be associated with this I mean island space and beds is something that needs to come together and I think that needs to be communicated to big blue bubble right now because if they just add more beds yeah sure we will be happy but the fact is that our islands are already quite full and perhaps they'll do something like oh you don't need the unit tree and mine to collect them and you draw the monsters likes to be good when the decorations aren't close to them and stuff maybe they'll get rid of them and say oh you can put them in the storage or whatever now and you'll still get a diamond and whatever but that's still not going to be enough space you, you, they really just need to add more space to the islands because it's not enough right now well it is now but when they had more beds it won't be yeah <laughs> i hope you get in the gist of what i'm saying guys now obviously my idea before was to level up the islands i don't know if you watched my videos and heard me go on about that but i was thinking originally oh level them up and increase the space as you go but the upgrade feature i actually saw someone comment this so this my idea was developed by someone else's comment they were like oh why don't you just upgrade the island and i was like yeah that's perfect that would fit so much better because that doesn't add all the confusion to it i think this idea would really work and suit the game so much we really need something like this now because it's not fair i don't think that we have to like sacrifice some monsters put them in the hotel we should be able to put all those monsters on display that's what the game's about collecting them all well in terms of rise and epics you know what it is it is a collector mall game isn't it because everyone wants full island songs so yeah people are gonna want to put all the monsters out so it's just <laughs> so bad i mean you just can't do that okay guys so i was just editing this video and i realized some important things about this concept i didn't mention whatsoever in the video so i just need to go over them now now when i said that i wouldn't be able to properly do and mimic the colossal awakening and adding a contribution to the firehaven song or whatever song for example i just meant that i wouldn't be able to mimic the my singing monsters style my Myself, so I didn't want to do that because I wanted it to be realistic and true to the game if you know what I mean and look like it's actually genuinely from the game and as well the animations that were shown as the Colossal's hands were being lifted and the Paradise Castle changed I thought this would be a very cool thing to add I think it would add something that isn't seen anywhere in the game because we don't, don't get any cut scenes or anything like that and it really shows that this upgrade is something that is changing your your island because it is changing your island it's changing it completely and i think it'd be completely awesome to just show that because i think it'd be a bit boring if you just like woke up like sure it'd be amazing like absolutely amazing but like seeing a cutscene, i just woo on my island like oh i'll love that so i just included that because like i liked it <laughs> and then the island space idea where the hands were lifted for firehaven would differ for each island so perhaps rather than the hands being lifted on Firehaven for instance maybe on Plant Island you'd have a bush come in from the sides and it would change from each island to island wouldn't it on Air Island you could have like a balloon or something like space on top of a balloon that would be cool or something like that you know there's tons of different ideas you can use and i think it'd be a bit boring just to see the hands so i just wanted to clarify that that is not what i was intending by doing this concept i think it would be a cool chance to incorporate the colossal's awakening into the island expansion because i feel like it all just suited it really well and i just don't see another opportunity like this where the colossal would be able to be awakened like this and it feel natural if you understand what i mean it would perhaps have to have its own button and stuff and i don't know just the idea of upgrading an island it just feels like the actual island itself should be upgraded and if the island itself is getting more space then it's got to be something to do with the colossal and the colossal has got to awaken technically so that is w the reason why i thought that it would be cool to add the colossal awakening as well to the actual island expansion but really it doesn't matter if you include the colossal's awakening or not it's really about the island expansion here the whole aspect of that that we're trying to get across isn't it anyway guys 
That is all I have to say in this video, guys. I hope you like this concept. Make sure to leave your thoughts on this concept video down below because I will be very interested to see your opinions on this. Perhaps you have a different idea to mine. <laughs>